Hello, I'm Tom with the List of Interesting Things. Today on the List of Interesting Scientific Things, we are continuing our coverage of the Perseverance Mars rover. In particular this time, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on what we discussed last time. That being, notably, the codes that NASA seems to have put into their rover. Not just this one on the bottom of the, uh, on the, bottom of the parachute, but also a couple of other things that I found particularly interesting. So we're more or less just going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to change the filters so that we're looking at the newest ones first. Uh, and we're just going to take a look at these. And as we cycle through, we're going to see if we can pick up on anything that I guess shouldn't be there. This one is one that I find particularly interesting. If you take a look right here, uh, this was taken with the... NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using its onboard left navigation camera. The camera is located high on the rover's mast and aids in driving. These things are strange. Very strange. They look... They, they almost seem to have the same structure as QR codes. And as we cycle through this... I am very excited to see if there's anything more like them. It seems to be a 4x4 four four grid within a, white, within a black square within a white square. Uh, what that could signify, I don't know. But a little later in the video, we might go through and do a little bit of binary conversion with those just, just from this other orientation. But for right now, I say we just... Keep looking at how beautiful this rover is, and how beautiful these pictures from another freaking planet are. Look at these landscapes. Look at these mountains off in the distance. They are just beautiful. And uh, I figured I really wanted to continue looking at the footage from the rover, so I figured I might as well bring you guys along with me. Absolutely beautiful. This is once again a dry lake bed, and one of the rover's principal um, principal missions is going to be to hunt for things in that dry lake bed to see if there's any evidence of life, either present or past. Let's see here. I think we established that these things are used for navigation. These are calibration pads right here. And I think we also solved a mystery of another one based on a based on a comment that I got. Yes, this guy right here. This thing is uh is a sundial. It is a decorative sundial. I don't know what the thing beneath it is, but from what I can tell, that's what we're looking at. Everything on top of the sundial, all of these uh uh interesting inscriptions, those are more or less purely decorative. Yes, these guys here are calibration pads. The sundial does a little bit for calibration as well. And I'll see if we can find a bit of a better picture here. Oh, look at that picture. These are so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So interesting. Is this one at night? No, I don't think so. I think the, the angle is just a bit different. We have some more Mars rocks. Super low res. I love me some super low res pictures. Super low, super low res pictures from Mars. Yeah, and I'm going to try to make this one just a little bit shorter than the last one. Holy cow, look at that. Just a little shorter than the last one. Because the last one rambled on for 33 minutes. Not that I didn't have a great time. Wow. My mother and I were walking around outside yesterday and we spotted Mars and we had that moment of sudden realization that we put a thing there and it's there right now. Oh my lord. See, that looks almost like fossilized coral. How gorgeous. I wonder what kind of rocks those are. 
Wow. Just beautiful stuff. Just beautiful. We were told by NASA to keep our eyes out for more codes. So that's what we're doing. We're seeing what other fun little Easter eggs they've left us behind. This is the heat shield. So the Mars rover is on descent right now. And the heat shield just popped off uh, after the air brakes were applied. And these are all from the air. I think we might have seen some of these the other day. They're still just gorgeous, though. Wow. All right. I'm still curious as to why that's pink. Why is that pink? Why is it... Is it taken by a different camera, perhaps? Downlook camera. So I wonder if all the downlook camera images are pink. That'll be interesting to find out. All right, let's take a look back over here. This guy right here. So we're going to try it from two different orientations. Notepad. So let's see here. So this first one is 0101. If I turn my num lock on, 0101-0011-1110-0000. All right. And the second one is 0000 1100 so I wonder what happens if we just take... Now, it's worth noting that there's no reason to believe that this is the correct orientation. These could just be backwards. What happens if we just paste these bad boys into Google? And while that's working, we'll go to binary converter. Uh, no, I want that the other way around. Mm, uh, text to binary is what I'm looking for here, friends. No? All right. Text to binary converter. There we go. Oh, shoot. No. Binary to text converter. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And this did not bring up anything, did it? All right. It's possible that this is just a, a pretty standard... Um, okay, so that question mark does not mean question mark. That question mark means nothing found. How about we give you a space in between here? We have an S, ladies and gentlemen. We have an S. All right. So how about instead of that we do one two three four five one two three four five one two one zero one zero yeah okay so that's that one inverted and then one one zero one zero one zero one zero zero one one zero 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 so what happens if we do it that way so this is what it would be if we were viewing it upside down. So instead of starting from top left, we started from bottom right, uh, presuming that the bottom is where my cursor is right now. Convert. We have a zero. This does not seem correct. What if we give it a space? Three weird question marks and a zero. All right. I don't know what these are. I don't know what they are, and I don't know what they're for. If anybody watching this has any idea what these are, I would love for you to let me know. Because they look, they, they look like little 16-bit images. 
but I like looking at them, turning my head, I don't see anything that that lets me know um lets that that like shows me an image. It's also possible that they're just a calibration thing and I'm just, and I'm barking up the wrong tree. But if I'm barking up the wrong tree, I wholeheartedly blame NASA for that because they put a 16-bit thing on my on my screen and expected me not to dive into it. All right. With that, I think that I am going to call the video. Until next time, I hope you'll be like the Perseverance Codes. Enigmatic and just a little mysterious. And above all, interesting. See you next time.